with you. It's beer drink, creature comforts, cosmic debris, double India pale ale, Athens, Georgia, 8% alcohol by volume, but first I must clean the palate. That bitch clean, anyhow. Creature Comforts is a brewery out of Athens, Georgia. I've been there a couple times. I absolutely love the environment. Dope ass brewery. I've actually had five of these. <laughs> so they're that good. But I never did bust out the camera to do a beer review on it. That's what this is. This is the absolute last one that I have. They come out with this beer, I believe, maybe one time a year. I had to make sure I did a review of it because I did a review of it last time around. But this time around, I kind of went to Sigmund Bottle, kinda. I went to Sigmund Bottle and I didn't even know that it released. I saw it up in six pack boxes and I had to grab a six pack of it because it was so good the last time. Bursting Aroma Hot Dust, very uh, vibrant. I already know this shit's gonna be great because I've already had five of them. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a review of this bitch for YouTube. Also, I like to make somewhat of a small, short announcement. <clears throat> I've recently signed into Twitch because to be totally honest, I kind of forgot that I had one. And I've been live streaming on Twitch video gaming videos of sometimes Fortnite, but I doubt that I'm going to be. What? I doubt that I'm going to be Twitch. Oh my gosh. I doubt that I'm going to be streaming Fortnite as much. However, I'm thinking about maybe getting Borderlands and. Uh, streaming Borderlands. Uh, I have a Steam game that I love playing Fire Pro Wrestling World. Maybe some Fight Night Champions and a couple other games that, that I fuck with. Oh, yo, UFC 3, ever heard of it? Also, I'm going to be doing some live streams on this channel, but I want you all to please go over to my Twitch stream because y'all already know in these weirdo ass times of the world, I'm hoping that everyone's spending a little bit more time at home. So I've definitely been spending more time uh, to myself. And also, I hope that you all are not going stir crazy. I hope you all are finding activities and different things that you can learn in order to kind of take your mind away from everything that's going on in the world. And at the same time, benefit yourself. Me, I've been using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and just really learning that thing. Like, I've learned a few tricks that I actually, I've seen around before. But I'm like, yo, that shit's easy. That shit's easy. I know I can do that. And that's pretty much what I've been using or doing uh, during this time, this horrible time uh, in the world. I've just been learning different things that I didn't know. <laughs> that's what learning is, dummy. You didn't, you can't know it. You can't know it and learn it, bitch. No, yeah, you can. You can learn more about something, which is video editing, as well as for uh, photo editing. Matter of fact, speaking of photos, check out these uh, couple photos that I took today when me and Elise went to Chimney Park. I know. We kind of fucking broke the code of uh, quarantining, but there was absolutely no one at the park. Me and Elise went over there just to take some pictures. I was riding the bike, and all of a sudden I got thirsty, so I pulled out one of these, and I went ahead and uh, made, I made this bitch a model, okay? I made it a model. I made a beer can a model, so I'll just, just look at the photos. This is a thing now on Instagram. Oh, damn it. it. Shouldn't have been a thing here, though. Now we gotta wait for this hoe to go down. <laughs> this bitch's name was Amanda. I know this motherfucker will be going down. It would have already went down. <laughs> Enough of that. Everything is wonderful with me, man. I'm absolutely loving life. Go ahead and get a beer selfie. Uh, uh, beer selfie facts. Oh, man. Dude, this is my beer selfie. Rad radical. Anyway, I should not have poured it like that. I'm a dumbass bitch. Anyway, I'm a dumbass. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an idiot. <laughs> In layman's terms, what we're going to do is put that off to the side right there. Oh my God. I'm going to grab another glass so I can go ahead and get to the shit. Because that's half a beer in here because my dumb ass like, hey, there's a trend on Instagram, the long, tall, poor thing. And I did it. Not, not for a photo. I did it. <sighs> I'm always doing some dumb shit. But you know who else is always doing some dumb shit? Not talking about no dumb. Go eat them chicken tenders, bitch. I'm just going to throw it in this cheers mug. It is what it is. So Just so I can pretty much get to the review because I'm not trying to have 10 minute reviews anymore. If you're not following my Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash beer drink shawty. Once again, twitch.tv forward slash beer drink shawty because I will be doing video game streams over there on, the on my Twitch channel as well as they have a thing called IRL in real life. They have a thing called just chatting. Just like this is. I'll be doing beer reviews over there at times as well as just pretty much 
throwing on the live and just chatting, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow over there because YouTube, a lot of subscribers have hit me up in the DMs on Instagram as well as Twitter saying that their notification bells were some, for some reason turned off for no reason. And I don't get that. I'm pretty sure other subscribers or the other creators have been having that same problem. And I've noticed that I've had, I've had a definite decrease in activity as far as uploads as well as live streams and it seems like no one's getting the notification of when I start a live stream. I did one this weekend, bet you didn't know about it anyhow. I may do another live stream tomorrow on this channel. I'm thinking about doing one for UFC or EA Sports UFC 3, just kind of do a simulation of Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson, the fight that's coming up in April and just kind of do my version of how I think it's going to go and yeah, definitely pull up for that. Also, Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. Bubble streaming up with like the salmon. Not cloudy, not hazy at all. Very, you get some powerful citrus. I smell pineapple. I'm not sure if there is pineapple. To be honest, like a, there, there are a few fruits that when you smell them, they like really smell sweet, if that makes sense. Like I'll put it this way. When you smell a watermelon, it doesn't really smell sweet. It kind of smells as if it were to be, as if it was, ah! Uh, uh, as if it's about to be tart, sour, a peach. Like you get kind of, like you get it sweet. You, I'll put it this way. You put a different plates of different type of fruit underneath somebody's uh, nostrils, <laughs> sour, sweet, uh, the, 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 whatever the other shits are. I look at like mango, guava, peach, is that, and that's what this smells like. It, it smells definitely like it's going to be somewhat of a very juicy, sweet type of beer, maybe a sweet finish. Oh man, now the bitch done went down. Damn, took you longer than fucking it took? Ooh, we're not saying that, right? I guess I'm gonna drink this one first, review it, and then I'm gonna down that. You know what, I'd rather review this one first because it looks better than the old Cheers mug, doesn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> anyway, plus another thing that you you guys may not know, if you have a Tiku, a tiku glass, this isn't like a official Tiku glass, a Tiku style glass. But the way it's shaped, you can definitely get a whole bunch of that aroma out because you got it all just chilling at the bottom when you throw your nose in there, like I always say. Just be sure to not blow a booger in your beer. Exhale into the beer, then inhale. Because when you exhale into the beer, you're letting, that, you're letting some kind of heat off to kind of heat it up and meld, meld all the, the, the generations uh, of, of uh, platypus together, and they come right back up in your nostril. You definitely get a better snifter. When you throw your nose in that hoe, inhale or exhale, then inhale. Same thing that I got from here, just a little bit more uh, powerful from this uh, type of glass. And I'm sticking to my guns. Truthfully, pineapple, definitely going to be maybe a sweet finish, kind of pine, pine-ish, piney, pine, pine kind of piney, ever heard of it? I'm about to drink this shit with my nose. <laughs> anyway, that's how much I like this beer. My nose is trying to drink this bitch, anyway. Light, light mouthfeel, very light. Bubble still streaming up with like the salmon. I know you're not, I know this isn't, I know this is probably frowned upon, but why not? Did I just do it again? Let me know which one of these bitches you want me to review next. Academia or Spectre Brewing Arts? God damn! Creature Comforts. Cosmic Debris never disappoints. Another great beer from Creature Comfort. Every release of Cosmic Debris so far, so good. Definitely a great beer. On a scale of zero to five, I'd have to rate Creature Comforts. Cosmic Debris. It's a four and a half out of five. A delicious taste in beer. It's gone down a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little Double in the a dipper stash. Ever heard of that? Oh shit! Craft beer Instagram hashtag dipper stash. This beer's definitely warmed up a bit, and the finish is a little bit more creamy, kinda, and it's a a bit more sweet, a bit more juicy as it warmed up a bit. When it's super cold, you don't get that. Definitely a great beer, man. Fuck with it. It is what it is. It's Beer Drink. Follow my twitch.tv forward slash Beer Drink Shawty. Some new content. Let's build it up over there because YouTube is being a little. Who are you?